I'm Father Andrew Fisher, the pastor of St. Ambrose Parish in Andale, Virginia. During World War II, Jan Tronowski was a 40-year-old tailor living in Krakow. Because the Nazis had closed down many of the programs put on by the Catholic Church, he began to have young people come to his apartment. And there they would do a Bible study and prayer together. For the 50th anniversary of his ordination, years later, Pope John Paul II said that this tailor had the greatest spiritual influence of any person on him. And that tailor, not known to the world or considered great in the eyes of the world, was a man who God used to help give us a saint, a pope, and a promoter of human dignity throughout the world. In our gospel today, Jesus reminds the apostles' greatness does not come from the applause of the world, the car you drive, or the clothes you wear. Rather, greatness comes from faith, hope, and love. Jesus calls us to greatness, not as the world says greatness, but as he says is greatness, to live our faith and to share that faith with others. Perhaps our challenge this week is to make sure we heed the words and the suggestion of Mother Teresa of Calcutta, that true greatness comes not from being the person I want to be, but from being the person God wants us to be. Perhaps we can take time this week to make sure we have clear goals. What is God calling me to be? And how do I say yes with all of my heart to be great in the eyes of God? For greatness is faith, hope, and love. Please subscribe here and join us for Two Minutes to Virtue.